This is WSLS 10, Virginia Today at 5. I pledge to every citizen of our land that I will be president for all Americans. And this is so important to me. For those who have chosen not to support me in the past, of which there were a few people, I'm reaching out to you for your guidance and your help so that we can work together and unify our great country. Donald Trump will be the next president of the United States. The Republican Party candidate captured crucial victories over Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton in Florida, Ohio, and North Carolina. Clinton winning in Virginia. Republicans will also control the House and the Senate. Hillary Clinton calls Donald Trump to congratulate him on his win and ask her supporters to go home. Clinton's campaign chair urged them to get some rest. Good morning and a happy Wednesday to you. I'm Patrick McKee. I'm Jenna Zimton, and Donald Trump is the president-elect. He started his victory speech just before 3 this morning, calling for unity. Now it's time for America to bind the wounds of division. We have to get together. To all Republicans and Democrats and independents across this nation, I say it is time for us to come together as one united people. It's time. We will break down the votes out of Southwest Virginia, the congressional races, and your reaction coming in overnight. We also have all of the races in our area scrolling at the bottom of your screen and live team coverage of Decision 2016. It continues all throughout the morning. But first, we want to go over to Storm Team 10 meteorologist Christina Montori now. And Christina, some sprinkles around this morning. Right, we are watching rain showers this morning, mainly east of the Blue Ridge Parkway. Most areas west of the parkway already seeing the end of those rain showers. We will take a look at that radar now. You'll notice most of the rain through Lynchburg, Smith Mountain Lake, and points to the east into Martinsville, Danville, mainly just light sprinkles west of the parkway. We will see these showers move Moving out of Westfield in about 10 minutes, Stewart in about 20 minutes, Smith Mountain Lake. Most of the rain is over for you in about a half hour. We are looking at a drier air mass moving in, a cooler air mass, but we will see a little bit more sunshine. Throughout the day, though, we will turn pretty chilly and breezy with temperatures only climbing into the 50s today. Uh, right around noon, 55 degrees into the upper 50s by 3 this afternoon on your way back home from school. We are looking at a uh, warm up, a little bit of a warm up by the end of the week and then another cool down. I'll break it all down for you hour by hour and I'll have your big picture forecast along with your seven day outlook coming up at 510. Jenna. The 2016 presidential campaign, a historic race with tense moments all the way up until the last minutes of Election Day and into the early morning hours this morning. But after hours of close vote counts and consecutive upsets favoring Trump, the Republican nominee emerged victorious. Diane Gallagher reports. I've just received a call from Secretary Clinton. She congratulated us, it's about us, on our victory. Donald Trump celebrating victory you. early Wednesday. I congratulated her and her family on a very, very hard fought campaign. Hillary Clinton campaign chairman John Podesta addressing a somber crowd of Clinton supporters. Several states are too close to call, so we're not going to have anything more to say tonight. After a bruising several hours for the Democratic nominee on a night that shocked much of the nation. Tuesday evening started off well enough for Clinton as vote totals began to come in. But as the evening pressed on, Clinton's lead in several key states began to shrink, giving way to a lead for Donald Trump. Then several key battleground states considered essential for Trump did indeed tip in favor of the Republican nominee. Trump winning Ohio, Florida, and North Carolina. Nail-biter races continued into the morning hours with thin margins in Pennsylvania, as well as New Hampshire, where the nominees were at one point separated by just 18 votes. Trump then pulling ahead of Clinton in the Democratic firewall state of Wisconsin, ultimately winning it along with key states like Arizona and Pennsylvania. Trump pulling off a long-shot victory to become America's 45th president. 
I'm Diane Gallagher reporting. And we have not yet heard from Hillary Clinton. We are expecting that at some point later today. Across Virginia, large, large voter turnout with some people waiting 90 minutes or more to cast their ballots. Well, early on in the night, it looked like Donald Trump might have a chance of winning the Commonwealth. Big Democratic counties like Fairfax and Newport News led to a win by Hillary Clinton. WSLS 10's Aaron Brookshire joining us now to break down the numbers. Aaron, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, there's definitely a big voter turnout across the Commonwealth with about 68% of registered voters hitting the polls yesterday. Now, the majority of Southwest Virginia did vote for Donald Trump, including the counties of Roanoke, Henry, Bedford, and Botetot. However, Hillary Clinton won over Montgomery County, Roanoke City, Danville, and Martinsville. And with the major counties of Fairfax, Richmond, and Norfolk voting for her as well, Hillary Clinton gained more than 49% of the Virginia vote. But on a national level, major states like Florida, Pennsylvania, and Ohio pushed Trump to win the presidency. WSLS 10 spoke with seasoned voters who say Tuesday brought out some of the largest crowds they've ever seen at a presidential election. Some stood in line for more than two hours, but say they would do it again if they had to because this election is so important. I was not expecting all these people when I walked in the door. But it's great that that many people take advantage of the opportunity that we have here in this country to vote. It's a real privilege. Roanoke County says about 42,000 people cast their ballots in Tuesday's election, part of what led to some of those extremely long lines. Now, coming up in the next half hour, we'll continue to break down the election results and have a look at local reaction to those results as well. I'm Erin Brookshire, WSLS 10. Thanks, Aaron. There were several congressional races across the Commonwealth, one of the biggest in the 5th District. Tom Garrett wins over Jane Dittmar with 59% of the vote. Uh, just thank you. It's, I mean, again, it's, uh, I'm just a guy named Tom, okay? Uh, and, and you guys did this. Garrett has been a state senator since 2011 and prior to that served as the Louisa County Commonwealth's attorney and spent six years in the Army. He now wants the people in the 5th District to hold him accountable. Garrett will replace retiring Congressman Robert Hurt. We'll have more from Jane Dittmar's concession in our next half hour. Congressman Bob Goodlatte is re-elected to represent the 6th District over Kai Degner. He won with a 2-1 to one margin. WSLS 10's Rachel Lucas attended Goodlatte's watch party at his headquarters in Roanoke and brings us reaction. It was a landslide victory for newly reelected Congressman Bob Goodlatte as he won 68% of the vote in this race. Now, he's been in office since 1992. That's 24 years of experience. He took the opportunity to thank his many incumbents for their years of support. We're building up momentum. It's not as fast as some people would like, but we've got to have a president who will sign these bills into law when we put them on his desk. And President Obama has vetoed many important bills. Uh, so I'm hopeful that we'll get uh, a new president, that we'll get Donald Trump, who has indicated a strong interest in the Better Way agenda that the GOP has put forward. Goodlatte tells me one of the first things on his agenda will be repealing Obamacare. In Roanoke, I'm Rachel Lucas, WSLS 10. We're also hearing from Congressman Morgan Griffith fresh off his win in Virginia's 9th Congressional District. As we've reported, he beat Democrat Derek Kitts and Independent Janice Boyd with about 71% of the vote. He says for his next term, he wants to create more coal and manufacturing jobs in southwest Virginia. We need to create and, and keep the manufacturing jobs we have, but we also need a policy that makes manufacturers understand if they invest in the United States, we're not going to regulate them out of business two years after they put a, a heavy investment in here. Congressman Griffith will be sworn in for his fourth term in January. 509 now, and during Tuesday's election, Virginians addressed two proposed constitutional amendments. The right to work, it failed by a 53 to 46 margin. And the property tax exemption for spouses of certain emergency uh, responders, that passed with 80% of people supporting that measure. Virginia's right to work law bans businesses from requiring employees to join a labor union. The second amendment focused on spouses of emergency service providers killed in the line of duty. This amendment allows local governments to decide to exempt their spouses from paying property taxes.
For more election coverage, including county, mayoral, town council, and school board races, head over to our website, WSLS.com. We also have those scrolling at the bottom of your screen. Our live team coverage on Decision 2016 continues all morning. And we'll take a break from election coverage to remind you that you need to watch and win, or watch so you can win here on WSLS 10. Big prize we're giving away is 10 lucky people will win one of these brand new 55 inch 4K ultra high definition televisions. All you have to do is watch Virginia today and listen for your name at 610. We announce those names. You'll have 10 minutes to call and the TV is yours. Now you can still enter by going to WSLS.com or the WSLS 10 Facebook page. So in one hour, we will announce two names. We're giving away two TVs this morning. And we had a winner yesterday who came and picked up his television. Very excited uh, to win that. So it was great to meet him yesterday. And he's going to be watching us this morning, possibly on that new television. Christina's here with a check of our forecast. And Christina, grab that umbrella as you're headed out the door this morning. Right. Some of us will still need that umbrella. Uh, if you're waiting a couple more hours to get out the door, probably won't need it. Still a couple of sprinkles going on in the Roanoke Valley. A live look from our Roanoke Sky Cam. Uh, mainly just seeing a kind of a dreary start to the day, but not too much rain for us as most of it has already moved on to the east. Temperatures are starting out in the low 50s to 40s this morning with a few rain showers lingering. After about 9, though, most of the rain over for us and we'll see skies start to gradually clear out and by tonight we are uh, mainly clear. Temperatures only top out though in the middle to upper 50s today. Overall pretty chilly day across the area even cooler heading into the highlands and NRV. Right now we do have a few of those sprinkles in most locations along and west of the parkway but east of the Blue Ridge Parkway that's where we're finding most of the rain this morning. Everything is still pretty light though a few moderate rain showers in the Danville area and just to the east of Lynchburg and Smith Mountain Lake. We'll see these moderate to light rain showers moving out of Peters Creek at about 520, Blackberry at about 525, 540 Smith Mountain Lake. The heaviest rain is over for you as well. Between 8 and 9, most of us are completely dry. We'll still have a few lighter showers in the highlands, some of our eastern counties with moisture still wrapping around this system. But most of us see skies clearing, but we will be pretty breezy with 10 to 15 mile per hour winds out of the north and west, gusting up to about 30 miles per hour. And then by tonight, we're mainly clear as high pressure builds in. Today will be pretty cool, only in the 50s in most locations, but back into the 60s tomorrow and Veterans Day. But on Veterans Day, we turn breezy again as another cold front moves through through, bringing temperatures down into the 50s for Saturday, but only a brief cool down Saturday back into those low 60s Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Patrick and Jenna. Thanks, Christina. 512 now, and the I Voted stickers are considered a badge of honor to show your civic responsibility, the history behind it, and how some states are going beyond the traditional red, white, and blue. Plus, the presidential election put a strain on online friendships for many Americans. The solution one Virginia Tech professor has in what's trending today. The WSLS 10 Cares Shred-a-thon, Monday at Shules in Danville. They helped change the culture of a small northwestern lumber town. And now Deschutes Brewery is coming to Roanoke. We fly here to Oregon to get an inside look at the award-winning craft beer that's brewing excitement in the Star City. What attracted one of the nation's largest craft brewers to the Roanoke Valley and the economic impact the employee-owned brewery could bring to all of us? We wouldn't be the solution, but we could be a part of the solution. Deschutes to Roanoke, tonight at 6 and 11 on WSLS 10. New York Pizza of Vinton, home of the original New York Pizza. For 34 years, we've been serving up our famous pizza and subs, shrimp, chicken, eggplant, and our incredible Philly cheesesteaks. Only at New York Pizza of Vinton. Did you know that your smile is the first thing people notice about you? A confident smile makes a world of difference. Dr. Henny specializes in helping you get the natural smile you've always wanted. Why wait? We can help you rediscover the joy of smiling easily, comfortably, and within your budget. It's time to bring out your inner beauty and confidence. Call 540-774-1577 today. 
At Jeff Johnson Chevrolet, we're always trying to make things better and easier for you, our customers. That's why I'm excited to announce the opening of our brand new Jeff Johnson Chevrolet Truck Center, our massive truck inventory, all in one place, right next door. Purchasing a truck will be easier than ever, whether for work or play, a change for the better. And as always, the lowest price without the fees and add-ons. The all-new Jeff Johnson Chevrolet Truck Center. I'm Jeff Johnson, and I promise you're going to like it here. The home at 14 Green Street. The showing. The butterflies. The papers. The crunching of numbers. The offer, the counter, the poker face, the impasse. Finding the happy place. The compromise. The closing of loopholes, the ironing of wrinkles, the signing, the shake, no, the hug. The sign of a Remax agent. At NRV Furniture, we have the largest selection of lift chairs in the New River Valley. Available in different fabrics, colors, with heat and massage. So relax with a touch of a button. We even have the brand new dual motor lift system chair that can lift up to 500 pounds. To find the largest selection of lift chairs and the best prices around, visit Zoe and I at 125 West Main Street in Radford next to Sonic. And remember, nobody beats an NRV Furniture deal. I guarantee nobody. New York Pizza of Vinton, home of the original New York Pizza. Try our Italian stuffed pizza for $13.95, our Philly cheesesteak special for $7.95, and get breadsticks with cheese for only $3.95, only at New York Pizza of Vinton. It's 516 now. On your Wednesday morning, we'll bring you a special election theme segment of what's trending today. If you are tired of everything election-related, then a Virginia Tech professor has a solution. Professor Todd, uh, how do you say his name? I don't want to mess it up. Shink has declared today National Frenemies Day. It's a day to reconnect with those that uh, have defriended <laughs> on social media during the campaign. The professor says it is a call to increase empathy and mutual understanding. You can use the hashtag, hashtag Frenemies Day, and visit frenemiesday.com to share how you are reconnecting uh, on the Virginia Tech campus. There will be a Frenemies Day Event. You know, he released this uh, yesterday saying that this was going to be the frenemies day. And just hearing his message, it sounds a lot like Donald Trump's message early this morning about uniting. And yes. finally, you know, let's stop the divisiveness. Let's Enough's come enough. together. Yeah. Mm hmm. All right, well, one little girl in Indiana had bigger concerns than red versus blue on election, that, uh, on election day. That's because it was her third birthday. But, uh, Hasley Gardini decided to embrace the election frenzy by dressing up as both Hillary Clinton and <laughs> Donald Trump. Although the three-year-old's real birthday treat included a visit to Chuck E. Cheese, of course. Her mom said the pictures are pretty special. The mommy-daughter duo says more than anything, they wanted to spread a little positivity during a negative campaign season. That is awesome. She's so sassy. Uh -huh. <laughs> At least she got Chuck E. Cheese out of it, too. Yeah, yeah. good birthday. That's yeah. really what every three-year-old wants. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> the Canadian government's immigration website crashed overnight, and experts believe the U.S. election played a major role. Business Insider reporting the site went down around 10.30 last night, and access has been spotty since. Online searches about moving to Canada and becoming a Canadian citizen grew in recent months, particularly after Donald Trump won the Republican presidential nomination. One Island's tourism website even created a promotional video <laughs> that offered Americans asylum. Oh my goodness. You hear this every four years. Yeah. I don't think we've ever seen the website crash before, but every four years there's this group of people, I'm gonna move to Canada, and guess yeah. what? They're still here. <laughs> well, and, and, Welcome and, back and, to America. Yes, and if they do move and you know, you're know you not happy with the result, on the bright side, maybe traffic will clear out for us. <laughs> there you go, bus. <laughs> yeah. They're still here. Yeah. Shorter lines at the polls in four years. Yeah. On Tuesday, millions of people were seen wearing those I Voted stickers. The Phoenix Association of Realtors in Arizona says they came up with the idea in 1985. Originally, the idea was that those who voted in the morning would wear the stickers to remind and inspire people to head to the polls in the afternoon. In some states, the stickers go beyond the traditional American flag. The stickers in Georgia came in the shape of a peach. In Tennessee, they're in the shape of the state. And in Chicago, they don't have stickers. They use... Huh. Wristbands. 
That's cool. You can maybe keep that's that's the one I see a lot of people around yeah. here wearing. Mine was just the little boring Mine one. Mine was yes. the classic yeah. That I one voted. was really cool. Yeah, I liked, uh, I saw some stickers for the little kids that said future voter. I like yes. that. That was cute. A lot yeah. of people brought theirs yeah. to the polls. I put mine on my phone, so I, I still my have my too. I voted yeah. sticker. I got it after around. work, so I didn't have anywhere to wear mine. I just <laughs> wear it today. Mine's I put it on, on my the phone. I was like, I don't want to waste the sticky. I'm yeah. just going home yeah. to sleep now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it is cool to hear the backstory. It yes. is. It is. 520 now, back to the forecast with a little rain still falling for some. Yes, a little bit more rain, but if you are staying in for a couple more hours, you'll probably won't need the umbrella today. Most of the rain trying to get out of here. Uh, most of the heavier showers, and when I say heavier, they're really not too heavy for us. We'll call them light to moderate rain east of the Blue Ridge through Lynchburg, Smith Mountain Lake, Martinsville area, mainly just a few sprinkles in the highlands. These will be winding down at about uh, 525 to 530 in North Shore Forest at about 540, Smith Mountain Lake at about 545. After that, we're mainly just looking at a couple of uh, lingering sprinkles after about 9 in the morning. A few uh, more wrapping around here during the afternoon, but nothing major. Most of the stuff getting out of here. Mid-50s by noon, but we are turning pretty windy into the upper 50s at 3. So temperatures really don't change too much today as we are pulling in a lot of cool air behind our cold front. We are pretty windy today. Tomorrow we get a break from the wind and temperatures bump up a little bit into those low 60s. By Veterans Day, we are turning breezy again because we have another cold front, but this cold front will not bring rain showers, just a little bit more cloud cover. Temperatures not too bad on Veterans Day in the mid-60s, but behind that front, uh, the wind weakens, but we turn pretty chilly Saturday with highs only in the lower 50s. Patrick and Jenna. Thanks so much, Christina. Ahead in sports, what caused an entire basketball team to start laughing during an NBA game? Hmm. Plus, how the Cavs are preparing for their next football game. Closed captioning on WSLS 10 is brought to you by Grand Home Furnishings. Next time on Daytime, we have a very wild and exciting day. Turtles from space, the Mill Mountain Zoo joins us for Wild Wednesday with a Russian tortoise. Plus, a delicious recipe from the VA Egg Council and a giveaway from AT&T that you don't want to miss. R&R Ornamental Iron. We are craftsmen. Iron and steel forged with artistry and style. R&R Ornamental Iron. We are designers. Blend into existing architecture, match a historic setting, or stand out with a unique custom design. R&R Ornamental Iron. We are ready. The knowledge, the tools, the people. We have exactly what it takes to get your next metal project done right. I'm Rich. And I'm Reggie. And we, we are R&R. I have asthma, one of many pieces in my life. So when my asthma symptoms kept coming back on my long-term control medicine, I talked to my doctor and found a missing piece in my asthma treatment with Brio. Once daily, Brio prevents asthma symptoms. Brio's for adults with asthma not well controlled on a long-term asthma control medicine, like an inhaled corticosteroid. Brio won't replace a rescue inhaler for sudden breathing problems. Brio opens up airways to help improve breathing for a full 24 hours. Brio contains a type of medicine that increases the risk of death from asthma problems and may increase the risk of hospitalization in children and adolescents. Brio is not for people whose asthma is well controlled on a long-term asthma control medicine like an inhaled corticosteroid. Once your asthma is well controlled, your doctor will decide if you can stop Brio and prescribe a different asthma control medicine like an inhaled corticosteroid. Do not take Brio more than prescribed. See your doctor if your asthma does not improve or gets worse. Ask your doctor if 24-hour Brio could be a missing piece for you. See if you're eligible for 12 months free at mybrio.com. I know where you can get a great floor for your room. For a lot less. What the home centers charge for, Carpetland USA does for free. Free pre-measure and estimate, free lifetime installation warranty, free financing, and free labor on every Stainmaster carpet, including new Stainmaster Pet Protect. Plus, save up to 15% on hardwood laminate, tile, and vinyl floors, all with no interest for one year. Get the best and spend less on all kinds of floors. At Carpetland USA.
as the seasons change, now is the perfect time to transform your backyard. At Valley Landscaping, we specialize in custom-built outdoor living spaces, private patios, water features, cozy fire pits, and outdoor kitchens. At Valley Landscaping, our design team will work with you to create your dream space. With our top combined experience and knowledge of green industry, you can expect the best. Take advantage of our special financing. Valley Landscaping, one company does it all. 888-362-2853. This Veterans Day, all U.S. veterans receive a free Grand Slam breakfast because it's never too late to say thank you. The WSLS 10 Cares Shred-a-thon, Monday at Shules in Danville. It's 524. Welcome back to Virginia Today here on WSLS 10. I'm Jenna Zibton. And I'm Patrick McKee. Despite its record, the Virginia football team improving each week. WSLS 10's Alyssa Ray explains. Good morning. Virginia has dropped its last four games, but the last two were only by a touchdown, and that includes a heartbreaker to number five, Louisville. If the Cavaliers have learned anything in those two games, it's that they're able to contend, but need to be able to close. We're capable regardless of who we play. That's to me what the last two weeks have said, and it would be hard to argue against that. Um, however, the ability to um, confidently and focused, um, laser -like fo having laser-like focus in those situations to put the play in context is something that we're still learning to do. To news notes, former Bath County and UVA tight end John Phillips was claimed by the New Orleans Saints after the Broncos released him. The Cavaliers suffered their first loss last night to the Hawks. They are now 6-1, and one, and Clemson will honor quarterback Deshaun Watson during Senior Day Saturday, even though he's just a junior, but he's headed to the NFL after this season. For your morning madness at the Hornets game, one of the fans took to the dance cam very seriously, getting the attention of Kemba Walker and receiving a standing ovation from the other players, worthy of your morning madness. Got some moves there. Yes. Very interesting. <laughs> Time now is 526, and Donald Trump pulls off this stunning political upset, becoming the president-elect, and then he calls for unity. Secretary Clinton called Donald Trump to concede, but has not addressed her supporters as of yet this morning. What Donald Trump said overnight in his victory speech and how Secretary Clinton plans to pick up the pieces, plus all of the reaction and fallout coming up. Island Ridge Rehab, the choice for all your rehabilitation needs. Schedule your tour today. At Shively Electric, we understand the importance of tradition. We've been serving the community for over 40 years. We're proud to support local football teams and traditions that are important to you. Watch First and 10 Traditions on WSLS 10. It's Hamrick's Incredible 36 Hour Sale. Prices slash throughout the store Thursday through Saturday. Ladies Arctic Fleece and Speculation Fleece blowouts. Just $10. Be active as seen on TV. Only $5. Men's Carhartt. Workwear and accessories. 20% off. Kenneth Cole handbags. Only $25. And pet beds. Just $10. Hamrick's Incredible 36 Hour Sale. Brand names at unbelievable prices. Todd's Jewelry has a new, more convenient location in Christiansburg. Thousands of pieces to choose from for your special someone. Don't pay mall prices. Come to Todd's Jewelry for high-quality jewelry for real savings. With over 30 years' experience, certified graduate gemologist Todd Ratliff creates one-of-a-kind pieces and will resize and repair your existing jewelry. Todd's Jewelry, still the NRV's hidden treasure. Pepper's Ferry Road in Christiansburg, across from Shules. While other RV dealers are shutting down for the winter, guess what we're doing? We are buying more. Why? To save you money. When we buy now, when there's less dealer demand, we get the biggest manufacturer incentives that we will pass on to you. Buy now and take advantage of these extra incentives. Plus, we will even store your RV until spring at no charge. You just can't beat that. Johnson Family RV. Hey, I'm Jeff Johnson, and I promise you're going to like it here. 
have a car, a title, then you're on Title Max's list to get the cash you need. No matter if you've been naughty or nice, Title Max accepts most makes, models, and years. Use your phone right now. Go to TitleMax.com to see how much cash you could get. Get the cash you need in as little as 30 minutes. I got $1,000. $4,000. $10,000. So this holiday, if you need cash, bring your title to Title Max and you'll say, I got my title back with Title Max. Get your title back with Title Max. Did you know that your smile is the first thing people notice about you? A confident smile makes a world of difference. Dr. Henny specializes in helping you get the natural smile you've always wanted. Why wait? We can help you rediscover the joy of smiling easily, comfortably, and within your budget. It's time to bring out your confidence. Call 540-774-1577 today. At Shively Electric, we understand the importance of tradition. We've been serving the community for over 40 years. We're proud to support local football teams and traditions that are important to you. Watch First and 10 Traditions on WSLS 10. Good morning. This is WSLS 10, Virginia Today. Every single American will have the opportunity to realize his or her fullest potential. The forgotten men and women of our country will be forgotten no longer. Donald Trump is president-elect and will serve as our nation's 45th president after winning some big battleground states across the nation. Across the Commonwealth, long voting lines and reaction this morning to Trump's win. Decision 2016 live team coverage continues as we break down the votes across Virginia and across the country. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Jenna Zibted. And I'm Patrick McKee. We are going to bring you much more about this election from last night coming up in just a few minutes, but we're going to get a look at the forecast first. Take a live look at Roanoke from our Roanoke Blacksburg Regional Airport Skycam. And Christina, if you're headed out in the next few hours, you'll definitely need that umbrella. Right, especially if you are east of the Blue Ridge Parkway. That is where we are finding most of the rain this morning, but it is gradually getting out of here. Most of the day will be pretty dry with more sunshine for us. But right now we do have scattered rain showers around, mainly just light sprinkles in our western counties, the highlands and RV. But as we uh, zoom in and take the clouds off, you can see some slightly heavier showers towards Martinsville, Smith Mountain Lake, Danville, Lynchburg areas. Everything pretty scattered though, so not everyone seeing one of these. We will see the rain pushing out of Bedford at about 536, Black, uh, Blackberry at about 545, Smith Mountain Lake 555, uh, Martinsville 620. Most of the rain is over for you as well. Temperatures do not change much today. We are going to enjoy gradual clearing, but we are turning breezy and cool behind our front. Mid 50s at noon into the upper 50s at 3 this afternoon as high pressure builds in for us tomorrow. And into the end of the week, we are looking at more sunshine. I'll break it all down for you hour by hour coming up at 540 along with your seven day forecast. And then we share the picture of the day. Jenna. Thanks, Christina. It's been a heated but historic election. This morning, NBC News declaring Donald Trump the projected winner of the presidential race, an upset that has stunned critics and thrilled his supporters. NBC's Tracy Potts has the latest from New York City this morning. Good morning, everyone. If you went to bed, didn't know the results, we do have an answer for you this morning after a very long night. This was really a nail biter. It came down to just a few key states and in the end it was Donald Trump. Hillary Clinton, we haven't heard from her yet. A campaign official says she'll speak today about this Trump victory. Let me say it is my high honor and distinct privilege to introduce to you the president elect of the United States of America, Donald Trump. With key states still too close to call, Donald Trump declared victory. I pledge to every citizen of our land that I will be president for all Americans, and this is so important to me. Sources tell NBC Hillary Clinton called Trump to concede. Publicly, her campaign held out hope. We can wait a little longer, can't we? <laughs> We're still counting votes, and every vote should count. At both headquarters, faces told the story. Cheers for Trump. We're just excited about having a chance after eight years of failed policies. Tears for Clinton. 
They split battleground states, Ohio, North Carolina, and Florida for Trump, Nevada, Virginia, Colorado for Clinton. This morning's opening bell, uncertain. Dow futures sinking lower than 9-11 overnight. NASDAQ and S&P futures temporarily halted. Wall Street's nervous. Now it becomes a guessing game as to how badly hit this market will be in the morning. Anti-Trump demonstrators rallied at the White House stunned. We're certainly disappointed about the results. I mean, we're still hopeful for something better to come. Exit polls tell an interesting story. The rural vote, white voters without college degrees largely underestimated as the vote count continues. And it does continue in some states this morning, but it was those rural voters who were undercounted in states like Pennsylvania and Wisconsin that flipped for Trump that really uh, produced this upset victory for him. And we've also got foreign reaction pouring in this morning from uh, leaders in Europe, uncertain what this means for them, from Vladimir Putin in Russia saying he hopes uh, that they will be able to cooperate. And that is the latest this morning from Democracy Plaza in New York. I'm Tracy Potts. Back to you. It was an exciting night for Republicans across Southwest Virginia, although lo the lookout was grim for them as the night started. That quickly changed as he gained momentum when results started coming in. Republicans say the race was important because of the financial state of our country. They believe Trump can change that. I was starting a business by myself as a young uh, woman, and uh, I just don't think I could do it today in the day's environment with EPA regulations and jobs going overseas. And it's, uh, I want my grandchildren to have the same opportunities and great-grandchildren that I had. The Republican Party of Virginia chairman congratulating Donald Trump overnight, saying in part, quote, now it is time for us to come together as a people and begin the hard work of making America great again. Congratulations, Mr. President-elect. Democrats gathered in Northern Virginia to watch the election results come in. Hundreds of people gathered at the state theater to show their support for Hillary Clinton. People cheered as they announced when it came in that Clinton won in the Commonwealth. They breathed a sigh of relief once they saw the numbers from Northern Virginia and the Tidewater region come in. After a long and divisive election, people at the rally say that both parties will need to come together to move this country forward. Frankly, a lot of the frustration from working class Americans who've seen jobs disappear, both parties need to do a better job of making sure that we've got an economy that includes everyone. Creating jobs and improving the economy are some key issues for voters. Across the Commonwealth, we saw huge voter turnout with more than 3.8 million Virginians hitting the polls. Across our region, we saw long lines and even longer wait times. WSLS sends Aaron Brookshire joining us live with a breakdown of the election numbers. Aaron, good morning. Good morning, Gab. Yeah, good morning. 3.8 million votes cast here in the Commonwealth. We saw a split with the majority of Southwest Virginia voting for Donald Trump and the northern counties and coastal areas voting for Hillary Clinton. Now, overall, Hillary Clinton won the Commonwealth with 50% of the votes thanks to larger counties like Fairfax and Norfolk. Most popular in Southwest Virginia, Donald Trump earned about 45% of the vote. Libertarian candidate Gary Johnson pulled in 3% of the vote. Independent candidate Evan McMullen gained 2%, and Green Party candidate Jill Stein pulled in about 27,000 votes or just under 1%. Now we also saw about 29,000 write-in votes as well. All of those voters led to some extremely long wait times at voting locations like the Bonsack Baptist Church where the wait was 90 minutes or more for a majority of the day. Now for many voters they say this is the first time they've ever seen anything like these long lines to vote. I've voted in every presidential election ever since I was 18. And but this is far more, more line and weight in this one than any previous one I've ever voted in. It's a very important election, so much controversy, and we want to make sure that the right person wins. Now we're talking about our new president on Facebook. Rhonda Jackson says no matter who won or lost, we need to be proud Americans and stand together to help each other. We've got some uh, different 
views as well, some for Trump, some against Trump. Bobby Luckadoo says, feel like there is now hope for the future, while Lynn Caldwell says, saddened. I thought we were better than this. Meanwhile, Kelly Red has a feeling, many of us probably feeling this morning, sleepy, can't believe I stayed up this late, but otherwise she said she's feeling pretty good. Now you can join the conversation on Facebook and Twitter as well. Just search for WSLS 10. And while all of the final numbers aren't in just yet, it looks like while we did see a lot of voters yesterday, not historic amount of voters. We were at about 68% of registered voters in Virginia voting yesterday, while in the past few elections, we've seen numbers hovering closer to 70 or 71%. I'm Erin Brookshire, WSLS 10. Thanks so much, Erin. Here in Virginia, Congressman Tom Garrett looking forward to getting to work representing the 5th Congressional District after defeating Democrat Jane Dittmar. It was one of the biggest congressional races in the Commonwealth. WSLS 10's Coulter Anstead was at Garrett's headquarters all night and has reaction. Congressman Garrett arrived here to Random Row Brewery to thunderous cheers. Now he's looking to work across party lines as he represents Virginia's 5th District. Ladies and gentlemen, the next congressman from the 5th District of Virginia, Tom Garrett! God bless all of you. Uh, hold me to account. State Senator Tom Garrett says he is excited and humbled to have the opportunity to lead Virginia's 5th U.S. Congressional District, and he knows exactly how he'll do that. You'll find people who you share... Um, um, opinions with on issues, and regardless of what side of the aisle they're on. Voters at Garrett's election night headquarters say this is like a dream come true. Tom Garrett is a solid guy. He understands the area, he understands the economic development in the area. He's going to bring jobs back to the area. Among Garrett's top priorities are repealing Obamacare, reducing government regulations for businesses, and helping implement strong immigration reform. In Charlottesville, Colter Ranch down to WSLS 10. The 5th District Democratic candidate Jane Dittmar gave a heartfelt concession speed after falling short by 18 points. WSLS sends Rob Manch brings us the latest from Charlottesville this morning. Dittmar's staff tells me that she's now going to take time to focus on her mediation business and spend time with her family that she hasn't been able to see while campaigning. She says political ambitions aren't off the table right now, but it's not going to be a focus in the near future. Dittmar says she spoke with Tom Garrett shortly after learning that he would be the winner. She says she asked him to put aside partisanship moving forward. Because her voice was hoarse from campaigning, Dittmar had her husband, Frank, deliver her concession speech. In the end, it is about running the race. And I think Jane has run a race that is a model not only for our country, but for the world. Dittmar ended her concession speech thanking supporters, saying that she received over the course of her campaign more than 24,000 individual donations. In Charlottesville, Rob Manch, WSLS 10. And Hi. we will have much more election coverage throughout the morning. Dr. Bob, uh, Dr. Dr. Ed Lynch, Ed Lynch is going to be joining will us. Will be joining us live in our six o'clock half hour um, to be, talk about the perspective of this race. It's going to be interesting to hear what he has to say. Mm -hmm. But here at five forty-one, we're going to hand things back over to Christina Montori with an update on your forecast. Christina, good morning. Good morning. Starting out a little bit wet for some areas. Live look from our Martinsville New College Institute Sky Cam. Wet roads right now, but mainly just finding a little bit of drizzle in the area. Nothing too heavy for us. Area wide, we are only looking at a few very light showers or nothing at all. Temperature in Martinsville, a little cool in the uh, mid to upper 40s, 47 degrees right now in Martinsville, but pretty mild overall for this time of year at this time of day in the upper 40s and lower 50s. We are not going to see those temperatures climb very much though because we have cooler air coming in behind our front and we still have a few of those lingering showers. Uh, if we uh, zoom into the Martinsville area a little bit notice how not a lot of heavy rain and area wide really not seeing anything too heavy. Uh, looking at a few lighter showers heading up 29 between Danville and Lynchburg also Halifax County still holding on to a few of those. We'll put a tracker on the end of this to let you know when the rain is getting out of a few locations. Collinsville out of here by about 555 Martinsville 610 620 Timberlake 630 Lynchburg skies are gradually clearing for all of us today after about eight only a few lingering sprinkles mainly in the highlands for us. 
Heading into the afternoon, more sunshine, but we turn pretty breezy. 10 to 15 mile per hour winds and gusting up to about 30 miles per hour. And temperatures only reach the upper 40s and lower 50s in the Highlands and NRV. We are looking at the middle to upper 50s in most other locations. Danville, Martinsville getting closer to those lower 60s, but overall pretty cool day ahead. The wind will weaken for us tomorrow, but by Veterans Day, the wind picks right back up again, but I think it will be beautiful with all the flags. And then heading into Saturday, that's our chilliest day with highs only reaching the lower 50s behind that front that moves through on Veterans Day. And with Veterans Day coming up, trying to keep the theme pretty patriotic here with our picture of the day. So keep sending your patriotic pictures in. Uh, this one comes from Jess Pritz Chatham in Manita. Can't tell if they're saluting or getting the sun out of their eyes, but uh, either way, adorable. We love it. Absolutely. Email us your pictures, news at WSLS.com. And uh, coming up at 550, I will have your hour by hour breakdown of Veterans Day. 544 now in a 2016 presidential campaign packed with surprises and controversy remained tense up until the very end. Donald Trump claiming victory in an election that shocked many across the nation. What this now means for the future of Washington and how one senator made history. Island Ridge Rehab, the choice for all your rehabilitation needs. Schedule your tour today. It's Victory for Veterans Week. They bravely served our country with honor. I was injured in Iraq. I've spent a good part of my life waging war. Maybe it's time to wage some peace. Now they're battling for a chance to win a million. I'd be kicked out of this uniform if I didn't know this. On Millionaire. Today at 2 on WSLS 10. I see the service truck. Did your furnace go out again? Isn't that the third time this year? You should just replace that old thing. I just can't afford it right now. You can't afford not to, you mean. I just got a Linux system last year, and it is so much more reliable and efficient. I'm going to save a lot of money in the long run. Let New River Heating and Air replace your old furnace or heat pump and save you money. Call Barney at New River Heating and Air Conditioning. Get up to $1,600 in rebates plus financing. Tonight on Blind Spot, Agent Weller goes missing. Life's over. You're gonna need some serious backup. Then, this is a hate crime. A special SVU about one of the most sensitive issues of our time will have you guessing until the very end. And on Chicago PD, a detective's friend accused of murder. Is a conflict for you? Will he risk his badge to save him? Remember how I made that DUI go away? I can help you with this too. It's an all new Wednesday, tonight on NBC. Woo! Yay, Leonard. Employee of the year. That a boy. Congratulations, Leonard. Woohoo! We love you, Leonard. And we all know he's. It's bow time at Bojangles, and since 1977, we've been all about flavor. Come in today for our $5 two-piece dinner combo. You get two pieces of fresh, never-frozen chicken that's been seasoned to perfection, marinated for 12 hours, and hand-breaded not once, but twice. Plus, you'll get your choice of fixin', a made-from-scratch buttermilk biscuit, and a regular drink. Grab a $5 two-piece dinner combo today. Bojangles, it's bow time. The home at 19 Walker Court. The agent. The rolling of sleeves. The look over. The look under. The application of dirt under fingernails. Turning over every rock. Turning over every chimney. Checking the nooks, checking the crannies, checking the walls. The floors, the gutters, the doors. Finding the flaw. Calling the specialist. Fixing it, cleaning it, prepping it, painting it, listing it, showing it, selling it. The sign of a Remax agent. At NRV Furniture, we have the largest selection of lift chairs in the New River Valley. Available in different fabrics, colors, with heat and massage. So relax with a touch of a button. We even have the brand new dual motor lift system chair that can lift up to 500 pounds. To find the largest selection of lift chairs and the best prices around, visit Zoe and I at 125 West Main Street in Radford next to Sonic. And remember, nobody beats an NRV furniture deal. I guarantee nobody. Kick off your holiday shopping at the Stocked Market this weekend at the Berglund Center. 548 now on Decision 2016 in the books as America elects a new president.
The campaign was a historic race filled with tense moments that lasted well into the early morning hours today. But after hours of close vote counts and consecutive upsets favoring Trump, the Republican nominee emerging victorious overnight. WSLS 10's national correspondent Chance Seals joins us live from Washington, D.C. And a big win for the Republican billionaire, Chance. Jenna, Patrick, good morning. Yeah, it sure was much bigger than expected, actually. It is now President-elect Donald Trump with at least 278 electoral votes. Again, it's safe to say it's much more than many in his camp even thought he would have. And by the end of the day, which was 2.45 a.m., he was in front of a crowd doing his victory speech and actually thanking Hillary Clinton, of all people. Hillary has worked very long and very hard over a long period of time. And we owe her a major debt of gratitude for her service to our country. I say it is time for us to come together as one united people. Just down the road in Manhattan, Hillary Clinton's campaign chairman, John Podesta, sent her supporters home right around 2 a.m. But while she did call Trump to congratulate him on winning, she never took the stage, never gave a concession speech, but we're told that later on this morning, she will come out in public and say something, probably a concession speech before some of her supporters. This is nothing that the polls predicted. Hillary Clinton vastly underperformed with white working class voters. And then in states like Michigan, Wisconsin, Florida, she just did not do well. A chance Republicans in Congress also had a great night. They had a terrific night. This is exactly what they were hoping for. And it's uh, exceeding what most experts thought they were going to have. So Republicans in the House, they still have a huge cushion, about 50 seats. But in the Senate also, they have a big lead. At least if you look at the majority they're going to have, it's one vote. That means they're in charge for the next two years. And it's because of certain races that were right on the bubble that just did not pop in Democrats' direction. One piece of history, though, Catherine Cortez Masto in Nevada, Democrat, she became the first Latina ever elected to the U.S. Senate. Very interesting. Chance Seals live for us in our nation's capital. Thanks so much. The markets are expected to react in a big way to last night's election news. Dow Jones futures plummeted by over 750 points late Tuesday night as U.S. presidential election results showed Trump taking an early lead. The plunge could even eclipse the Brexit shocker that rocked financial markets in June. Dow's futures halted just after midnight. Now trading will begin again when the markets open at 9.30 this morning. And concerns surrounding the Trump victory also causing stops to stocks to drop around the world. In Tokyo, the Nikkei dropping 919 points, or 5.5%. The market started the morning slightly higher on news that Hillary Clinton was looking strong. Election news also sent currency traders fleeing from the dollar to the yen. And the Mexican peso plunged to its lowest ever levels last night, weakening by more than 13%, breaking past 20 pesos per dollar its biggest fall in at least 19 years. The fierce election season has been stressful for many Americans, and some voters in the battleground state of North Carolina got a little therapy at the polls. The SPCA of Wake County bringing in puppies to a couple polling sites in Raleigh. The dogs getting some extra playtime, and voters getting the chance to de-stress during the long wait. These are the fun stories that yes. we get to cover about the election. Live look from our Virginia Tech Sky Camp in Blacksburg. I no longer seeing that rainfall, but notice the roads, parking lot a little bit wet as rain just passed through. Just a couple more sprinkles possible for the Blacksburg area. Most of the rain has already moved on to the east. A few showers still hanging on to our far southeastern counties, mainly east of Lynchburg, Danville, uh, heading into Charlotte and Halifax counties. Temperatures not too bad this morning because of the cloud cover, upper 40s to lower 50s. And most locations as you step out the door this morning. The showers continue to gradually move out of here to the east with just a few lingering sprinkles left over during the afternoon with a little bit of moisture wrapping around this front as it moves on to the east. Most of us just enjoy an increase in sunshine today, but with that increasing sun, the wind is increasing as well. It will turn pretty breezy, 10 to 15 mile per hour winds out of the north and west and gusting up to about 30 miles per hour. And temperatures are not going to climb very much today as we are ushering in a cooler air mass. So this 
afternoon, we only top out in the upper 40s in the highlands, low 50s in the New River Valley, upper 50s Roanoke, Lynchburg, and through south side. Tomorrow, a little bit better. The wind weekends, lower 60s into the middle 60s for our Friday Veterans Day, lower 50s. This will be our coolest day on Saturday. And for your Veterans Day, we start out pretty chilly in the 40s at 8 in the morning. We climb into the low 60s at noon, middle 60s at 3 in the afternoon. Patrick and Jenna. Thanks so much, Christina. Coming up, a look back at all of the big races from Election Day. Our Decision 2016 coverage continues in three minutes. Stay with us. Get the best bedliner in the business. Sprayed in at Anchor. Thank you for choosing WSLS 10 this election night. We brought you the results first. WSLS 10 will be breaking in to keep you up to speed. On air, online, and on your phone. Thank you for depending upon WSLS 10 for complete election coverage. This Veterans Day, all U.S. veterans receive a free Grand Slam breakfast. Because it's never too late to say thank you. Always wanted a Kubota? Then get on down to your local Kubota dealer today, where the deals have never been hotter. Right now, get incredible savings on new Kubota tractors. You can get low payments for up to 84 months. With 0% APR, incredible customer instant rebates, and a six-year limited powertrain warranty on new BX, B, L, and MX tractors. There have never, ever been deals like these. See your Kubota dealer today. Visit your local Kubota dealer, VirginiaKubotaDealers.com. At Blackwater Utility Buildings, we have the high-quality storage building you're looking for. Our buildings are custom-made with only the best materials. Double plates, collar ties, strong lag screw connections made right here in our Rocky Mount shop. Custom accents to make your building stand out and top it off with our Amish-made cupolas and copper weather vanes. Visit us on Route 220 just north of Rocky Mount or online at blackwaterutility.com. Blackwater Utility Buildings, locally built and built to last. Batteries Plus bulbs keep stacks of batteries for cars, cell phones, watches, plus light bulbs for lamps, can lights, and appliances right on hand. Did I mention we also repair smartphones? Batteries Plus bulbs. Trust the plus. Need a longer lasting bulb? Batteries Plus bulbs has a huge selection of LEDs starting as low as 183. Batteries Plus bulbs. Trust the plus. Visit batteriesplus.com to find a store near you. It's Hamrick's Incredible 36 Hour Sale. Prices slash throughout the store Thursday through Saturday. Ladies Arctic Fleece and Speculation Fleece blowouts. Just $10. Be active as seen on TV. Only $5. Men's Carhartt. Workwear and accessories. 20% off. Kenneth Cole handbags. Only $25. And pet beds. Just $10. Hamrick's Incredible 36 Hour Sale. Brand names at unbelievable prices. think he gets around so fast. Take the reins this holiday and get the Mercedes-Benz you've always wanted during the winter event. Hurry, offers end soon. On Thursday, November 17th, the Moss Art Center in Blacksburg presents Abraham in Motion. Contemporary dance takes inspiration from 1960s jazz layered with hip-hop. Details at artcenter.vt.edu. Five fifty-seven. Donald Trump claiming his place as America's 45th president. The Republican blasted through the Democrats' long-standing firewall, carrying states that hadn't voted for a GOP presidential candidate since the 1980s. His triumph over Hillary Clinton will end eight years of Democratic dominance at the White House. Clinton is expected to make a statement later today. Republicans regain or continue their control of the House and Senate. There were several key congressional races in southwest Virginia, one of the biggest, the 5th District, where Republican Tom Garrett victorious over Democrat Jane Dittmar after Robert Hurt retired from this seat. In the 6th District, Bob Goodlatte re-elected, beating out Kai Degner, 68-32, and in the 9th District, Morgan Griffith re-elected, getting 68% of the vote. 
More than 3.8 million Virginians voted in the presidential election, leading to long lines and even longer wait times, with some voters waiting 90 minutes or longer to cast their ballots. Voter turnout stands at just under 69% here in the Commonwealth. Temperatures only top out in the 50s today with gradual clearing and we are turning breezy. Low 60s with sunshine and weaker wind tomorrow. The wind picks up again for our Veterans Day. Coolest day Saturday at 52 degrees. Back into the low 60s Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Our team coverage continues as we head into the next hour here on Virginia Today, including analysis from WS the less 10 political expert Ed Lynch. If I can say it. We're back in two minutes. Hey, Ronald, Chuck Baker here. It's our 13th annual Yes Member celebration. Yes, we have the inventory to make this our biggest Yes Member ever. Yes, the incentives have never been better with rebates up to $3,000 and 0% APR on select 2016 and 17 options. Yes, everything is on sale, and yes, we're getting top dollar for your trade. And finally, it's Yes to the Kids, as Haley Toyota is an official drop off for Toys for Tots. Yes, Bimmer means saving thousands on your next newer used Toyota. And yes, Haley has it for less. Your next adventure is just a click away. Join us as we showcase all the great places to visit that are simply in a day's drive. Watch Daytime Blue Ridge weekdays at 1230 to see where our adventures take us. Or plan your own trip by visiting inadaysdrive.com. Yay, Leonard. Employee of the Year. That a boy. Congratulations, Leonard. Woohoo! We love you, Leonard. And we all know he's earned it. Cold and flu hold you back. Try TheraFlu Express Max, now in new caplets. It's the only cold and flu caplet that has a maximum strength formula with a unique warming sensation you instantly feel. TheraFlu, for a powerful comeback. New Express Max caplets. It's on. Black Friday starts now at the all new Berglund Ford in Salem and Berglund Ford in Bedford. Buy new F 150, 20999 That's Black Friday pricing now at both Berglund Ford locations. 20999 F 150 during the 10 10 10 event at the all new Berglund Ford Salem, Main Street in Salem, and Berglund Ford Bedford. 460 next to Walmart. Our volume saves you money. BerglundCars.com. Good morning. This is WSLS 10, Virginia Today at 6. I pledge to every citizen of our land that I will be president for all Americans. And this is so important to me. For those who have chosen not to support me in the past, of which there were a few people, I'm reaching out to you for your guidance and your help so that we can work together and unify our great country. Donald Trump will be the next president of the United States. The Republican Party candidate captured crucial victories over Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton in Florida, Ohio, and North Carolina. Clinton winning here in Virginia. Republicans will also control the House and Senate. Hillary Clinton calls Donald Trump to congratulate him on his win as her supporters are sent home. Clinton's campaign chair urging them to get some rest. Good morning and thanks for starting your day with us here on Virginia Today. I'm Patrick McKee. I'm Jenna Zibton. Donald Trump now officially president-elect. He started his victory speech just before 3 this morning calling for unity. Now it's time for America to bind the wounds of division. Have to get together. To all Republicans and Democrats and independents across this nation, I say it is time for us to come together as one united people. It's time. We break down the votes out of Southwest Virginia. The congressional races 
and your reaction that's come in overnight. We're also going to have the races in our area scrolling down at the bottom of your screen so you can see them all throughout the morning. And live team coverage of Decision 2016 is continuing for us here as we head through the next hour. But first, we'll head over to Christina for a check of our forecast. And Christina, grab that umbrella if you're headed out in the next couple of hours. Yes, but after that, it looks like most of us will just enjoy clearing, but you might want a windbreaker as it will be turning very breezy behind our front. That is currently bringing us a few rain showers. Most of the rain in our eastern counties right now with a few lingering sprinkles in the highlands and NRV, but most of that is over as cooler and dry air starts to push in from the west. Notice uh, north of 64, only a couple of sprinkles. Most locations dry while we are still holding on to a few light showers uh, east of the Blue Ridge Parkway, mainly through the Rustburg area, Seneca, heading into Appomattox. These showers will be moving out of Lynchburg at about 615, Rustburg 635, Gretna at about 640 this morning. After that time, we will just turn breezy with a lot more sunshine. Temperatures start off in the 40s and low 50s this morning as you head out to the bus stop. Middle 50s by lunchtime into the upper 50s at 3 on your way back home from school. And remember, we are turning breezy, so it will feel a little cooler than that. Coming up at 610, I will break your forecast down hour by hour, and I'll have your seven-day outlook. Jenna? The 2016 presidential campaign, a historic race with tense moments all the way up until the last minutes of Election Day and into the early overnight hours. It has certainly been an exciting 24 hours. But after hours of close vote counts and consecutive upsets favoring Trump, the Republican nominee emerging victorious. Emily Schmidt reports. I love this country. It is the first few expected. Donald Trump, the first person since Dwight Eisenhower, who never held office before the campaign, now the United States president-elect. Now it's time for America to bind the wounds of division. Trump thanked his competitor, Democrat Hillary Clinton, who called Trump to concede the race but did not address supporters who had gathered in a glass ceilinged convention center for what they had hoped would be her victory party. Her campaign advisor spoke briefly instead. We are so proud of her. She's done an amazing job. Clinton entered Election Day leading in national polls with what political experts said was a clearer path to the 270 electoral votes needed to win the race. Through the night, that path narrowed until it closed completely. Key states like Florida, Ohio, and North Carolina went to Trump. So did safe states like Wisconsin the Clinton campaign thought were locked up. Clinton had a night of not enoughs, winning 88% of the African American vote, but not as much as President Obama captured four years ago. She also won less of the Latino, white, and young people vote than Obama had. In New York, I'm Emily Schmidt reporting. Joining us now, political analyst Dr. Ed Lynch. Uh, so, an interesting night. The polls on this one really messed it up because one, two, three, four days out, they were mm -hmm. all saying Hillary, Hillary, Hillary. And then Trump now up by 90,000 votes nationally this morning. What did the polls miss? They missed a couple of things. Number one, they were, uh, and, and some of the pollsters have already admitted this, that they undercounted the rural vote. They undercounted and underestimated the, uh, the non-college educated vote. Uh, they didn't expect that vote to actually come out to the polls, which meant they essentially underestimated how angry and how upset those people are and why, uh, the people who voted for Trump and who want to see fundamental change uh, come to this country. The other thing that was missed was the early voting. Millions of early votes were cast in the days between when the FBI announced they were reopening the investigation into Hillary Clinton and when they announced that they hadn't found anything in that investigation. During that interval, a lot of early votes were cast and those were the worst days of the year for the Clinton campaign. So we're now looking at a Republican president, a Republican House, and a Republican Senate. Yes. All of those Republicans that came out against Trump are now going to have to work with him as president. What is that going to be like? Uh, that's going to be a fascinating dynamic, uh, and I say that as a social scientist uh, for whom, you know, human interaction is, is inherently interesting. Uh, but, uh, yeah, a lot of the congressional leaders sat out the campaign, uh, came out against Trump, particularly after some of his earlier comments were released earlier in the campaign. Uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, feather soothing and fence mending and, 
and a lot of people uh, deciding if they want ketchup or mustard with their crow this morning. <laughs> so now that let's look forward. Mm -hmm. What's next? Is it Obamacare? Is it taxes? Now that the Republicans have swept everything, mm -hmm. what do they go for first? Uh, I think that uh, uh, I think that Trump will probably try to find some areas of, of more broad agreement. Uh, certainly he will uh, press Congress to come up with a way to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act. Uh, he will certainly wish to get to work on immigration, on law and order, uh, and possibly on, on infrastructure. I think those will, will be the initiatives we're likely to see in the first hundred days of a Trump presidency. Dr. Ed Lynch will be here with us all morning. Don't go anywhere. We'll have more from you coming up. <laughs> Our election coverage continues as across Virginia, large voter turnout with some people waiting 90 minutes or more to cast their ballots. WSLS 10's Aaron Brookshire joining us live to break down the numbers. Aaron, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, that's right. A big voter turnout across the Commonwealth with about 68% of registered voter voters hitting the polls yesterday. Now, the majority of Southwest Virginia voted for Donald Trump, including the counties of Roanoke, Henry, Bedford, and Botetourt. However, Hillary Clinton did win over Montgomery County, Roanoke City, Danville, and Martinsville. And with the major counties of Fairfax, Richmond, and Norfolk voting for her as well. Hillary Clinton gained more than 49% of the vote here in Virginia. But on a national level, major states like Florida, Pennsylvania, and Ohio pushed Trump to win the presidency. WSLS 10 spoke with seasoned voters who say Tuesday brought out some of the largest crowds they've ever seen at a presidential election. Some stood in line for more than two hours, but say they would do it again if they had to because this election is so important. I was not expecting all those people when I walked in the door. But it's great that that many people take advantage of the opportunity that we have here in this country to vote. It's a real privilege. Now, while many people say these are the longest lines to vote they've ever seen, voter turnout is actually lower than in years past. This year, 68% of voter turnout is actually down from nearly 72% in 2012 and 74% in 2008. Now, at this point, only about 99% of precincts are reporting, so that could change a little bit over the coming days, but that's what we're looking at as of this morning. Now, coming up in the next half hour, we'll continue to break down these election results and have a look at local reaction to the results as well. I'm Erin Brookshire. WSLS 10. Thanks, Aaron. There were several congressional races across the Commonwealth. One of the biggest was in the 5th District. Tom Garrett wins over Jane Dittmar with 59% of the vote. I just thank you. It's, I mean, again, it's, uh, I'm just a guy named Tom, okay? Uh, and, and you guys did this. Garrett's been a state senator since 2011 and prior to that served as the Louisa County Commonwealth's attorney and spent six years in the Army. He now wants people in the 5th District to hold him accountable. He'll replace retiring Congressman Robert Hurt. We'll have more from Jane Dittmar's concession in our next half hour. Congressman Bob Goodlatte re-elected to represent the 6th District over Kai Degner, winning with a 2-1 to one margin. It was a landslide victory for Goodlatte as he had 68% of the vote. He's been in office since 1992, 24 years now. Goodlatte says that one of the first things on his agenda, repealing Obamacare. We're also hearing from Congressman Morgan Griffith, fresh off his win in Virginia's 9th Congressional District. He beat Democrat Derek Kitts and Independent Janice Boyd with about 71%. He says for his next term, he wants to create more coal and manufacturing jobs in Southwest Virginia. We need to create and, and keep the manufacturing jobs we have, but we also need a policy that makes manufacturers understand if they invest in the United States, we're not going to regulate them out of business two years after they put a, a heavy investment in here. Congressman Griffith will be sworn in for his fourth term in January. For more election coverage, including county mayoral, town council, and school board races, head over to our website, WSLS.com. Those are also scrolling at the bottom of your screen. Our live team coverage on Decision 2016 continues all morning. All right, maybe two minutes late now, 612, but... We are going to give away some TVs now as 10 lucky people are going to win one of these brand new 55-inch 4K televisions. All you have to do is watch Virginia Today and listen for your name. And we have two winners today. They are David, Jesse of Roanoke, 
and April Tabor of Pulaski. So if your name is David Jesse or April Tabor, you have 10 minutes to call the number on your screen, 540-512-1544. Call and win. Please call. We want to give these things away. We gave one away yesterday. Let's give away two today. 612, over to Christina now with an update on your forecast here on this day after the election. For some, you'll need your umbrella. Right, uh, just a couple of us, mainly in our eastern counties this morning. High pressure's on the way in, and that means an increase in sunshine today, but we are turning cool and breezy behind our frontal boundary that's currently bringing us a few showers. On the local view, most of us are dry with the exception of a few sprinkles, but uh, in our eastern counties, still hanging on to a few of those showers, mainly towards the Rustburg area, seeing a few light to moderate rain showers into Appomattox, Brook Neal. But again, most of this is just very light, mainly sprinkle action. After about 8 in the morning, with the exception of a couple of light sprinkles in the highlands, we are dry area wide. We will turn breezy though with that increase in sunshine. About 10 to 15 mile per hour winds gusting up to 30 miles per hour with that strong northwest flow in place. Temperatures are not going to be able to climb very much today. We are looking at the upper 40s and lower 50s as you step out the door most locations this morning. A little bit warmer at 55 in Roanoke. But fast forward to about 3 in the afternoon when we reach our high temperature. And temperatures aren't very different. We are looking at the upper 40s, low 50s for high temperatures in the Highlands and New River Valley. Upper 50s in most other locations. Danville and points to the east, you may make it into those lower 60s. So a little bit warmer through south side. Temperatures are going to be back into the low 60s for most locations tomorrow. Mid 60s by Veterans Day. Tomorrow, not as windy, but it will be breezy again on Veterans Day. And uh, that is mainly because we have another cold front. Front that brings us a cool down for Saturday into the 50s, back into the low 60s Sunday through Tuesday. Patrick and Jenna. Thanks, Christina. 614 now on the I Voted sticker. Considered a badge of honor to show your civic responsibility. The history behind it and how some states are going beyond the traditional red, white, and blue. Plus, the presidential election putting a strain on online friendships for many. The solution one per Virginia Tech professor has in what's trending today. Kick off your holiday shopping at the Stocked Market this weekend at the Berglund Center. They helped change the culture of a small northwestern lumber town. And now Deschutes Brewery is coming to Roanoke. We fly here to Oregon to get an inside look at the award-winning craft beer that's brewing excitement in the Star City. What attracted one of the nation's largest craft brewers to the Roanoke Valley and the economic impact the employee-owned brewery could bring to all of us? We wouldn't be the solution, but we could be a part of the solution. To shoots to Roanoke tonight at 6 and 11 on WSLS 10. For all of your automotive needs, Thompson Tire has you covered. Now through December 31st, you can get a mail-in rebate of up to $160 off the purchase of four select Goodyear tires on your Goodyear credit card. Thompson Tire, committed to serving you. This year marks the Rescue Mission's 11th Drumstick Dash. Bring the family and take part in this Roanoke Valley Thanksgiving tradition. By entering the Union Drumstick Dash, you help provide food, clothing, and safe shelter to over 350 people every day. You can run or walk the certified 5K course that winds through downtown and ends at the city market. Join us for a new decade of dashes on November 24th. Visit drumstickdash.net to register. Now's the time to buy. Grand Home Furnishings outlets are overstocked from Grand's 19 stores and five warehouses. For a limited time, take an additional 25% off our already low outlet prices. Famous name floor samples, mattresses, mismatched pieces, special purchases, and more. Our giant outlets are overfilled with everything you need for your home. Hurry in for extra savings of 25% off our already low outlet prices. Grand's Warehouse Outlets, just off Route 460, Rhodes Avenue, Roanoke, and West Lake at Smith Mountain Lake. Open Thursday through Sunday. My name is Fred. I'm a physical therapist assistant here at Richfield, and I've been here for about four years. I think this is one of the nicest rehab gyms in the valley, and I love being able to bring people in and say, you know what, I've been there, I know what you're going through, and I'm going to lead you by the hand, and you're going to walk out of here. And when they stand up, and they've got that smile on their face, and they did something they didn't think that they could do, that's what I love. And if I can get people back to the quality of life they're used to experiencing, then that's my job. Always wanted a Kubota? Then get on down to your local Kubota dealer today, where the deals have never been hotter. 
Right now, get incredible savings on new Kubota tractors. You can get low payments for up to 84 months. With 0% APR, incredible customer instant rebates, and a six-year limited powertrain warranty on new BX, B, L, and MX tractors. There have never, ever been deals like these. See your Kubota dealer today. Visit your local Kubota dealer, VirginiaKubotaDealers.com. For all of your automotive needs, Thompson Tire has you covered. Now through December 31st, you can get a mail-in rebate of up to $160 off the purchase of four select Goodyear tires on your Goodyear credit card. Thompson Tire, committed to serving you. 617, now a special election themed edition of What's Trending Today. If you are tired of everything election related, then a Virginia Tech professor has a solution for you. Professor Todd Schink has declared today National Frenemies Day. It's a day to reconnect with those that have uh, defriended you on social media <laughs> during the campaign. The professor says it is a call to increase empathy and mutual understanding. You can use the hashtag Frenemies Day and visit frenemiesday.com to share how you are reconnecting. On the Virginia Tech campus, there will be a Frenemies Day event. So we need this. Yeah, have you guys defriended anybody or hidden any statuses of No, them? I haven't actually. I, I think it's I just interesting know who not to read. To, yeah, yeah, and exactly. it's interesting to kind of see what your friends are saying. I, yeah. I think we have a little bit of a different take on it because we are not supposed to be pulling for anyone. Mm -hmm. So it's, I look at it as more of a fact finding. What are people saying about yeah. it? Uh, same, same here, we pull for America. Right. Not, not candidates. <laughs> we just report the results. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, well, one little girl in Indiana had bigger concerns than red versus blue on election day <laughs> because it was her third birthday. Now, Hazley Gardini decided to embrace the election frenzy by dressing up as both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Although the three-year-old's real birthday tre uh, treat included a visit to Chuck E. Cheese. Her mom said the pictures are pretty special. The mommy-daughter duo says more than anything, they wanted to spread a little positivity during a negative campaign season. She the is best part of the whole thing, and yeah, the <laughs> pictures are cute, but she got some Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, so that's all you really a three-year-old I really wants. hope she wore one of those costumes yeah. to Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, Could you great? imagine all the other kids, like, <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> Well, no surprise, really, probably to any of us. The Canadian government's immigration website crashed Tuesday night, and experts believe the U.S. election played a major role in that. Business Insider reports the site went down around 10.30 last night, and access has been spotty since. Online searches about moving to Canada and becoming a Canadian citizen grew in recent months, particularly after Donald Trump won the Republican presidential nomination. One Island's tourism website even creating a promotional video offering American asylum. You see this every four years mm -hmm. and I think over the past four years I think I read the number is only about 200 people actually did it. Very few actually follow I through. more people follow through. That way, <laughs> that way we have you know better traffic, shorter lines everywhere. The folks at Bonsac Baptist who voted there are hoping I for shorter gosh. lines. Yeah, yeah I voted yeah. there. I waited an hour and a half. Wow. Yeah, but we were already, you know, it was fun. Three minutes but in and people. out. I know, mine was pretty quick, <laughs> too. Yeah, mine was, too. <laughs> well, on Tuesday, millions of people were seen wearing those I Voted election mm -hmm. stickers. The Phoenix Association of Realtors in Arizona say they come up with the idea for these back in 1985. Originally, the idea was that those who voted in the morning would wear the stickers to remind and inspire others to head to the polls in the afternoon. In some states, the stickers go beyond the American flag. The stickers in Georgia came in the shape of a peach. In Tennessee, they're the shape of the state. In Chicago, they're unlucky. They don't have stickers. Instead, they use wristbands. That'd be cool. I saw those. Those were really nice-looking stickers there with the a presidential emblem on them. I didn't have anywhere to wear mine yesterday. I know. I didn't so either. Either. Still I put it on my phone. Just, yeah, mine is on too. my phone. So well, eventually this will <laughs> this will turn gross and I'll peel it off. Peel it off. But, <laughs> but my, for a while I'll be able to carry it around. Mine's yeah. on my mirror at home, <laughs> reminding me, I guess, that I did vote. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we can do it all over again in a year. Yeah. Well, Donald Trump pulls off a stunning political upset, becoming the president-elect, and then calls for unity. Uh, we're going to have more on that and a look at your forecast coming up. Closed captioning on WSLS 10 is brought to you by Grand Home Furnishings. New York Pizza Vinton, home of the original New York Pizza. 
For 34 years, we've been serving up our famous pizza and subs, shrimp, chicken, eggplant, and our incredible Philly cheesesteaks. Only at New York Pizza of Vinton. I see the service truck. Did your furnace go out again? Isn't that the third time this year? You should just replace that old thing. I just can't afford it right now. You can't afford not to, you mean. I just got a Linux system last year, and it is so much more reliable and efficient. I'm going to save a lot of money in the long run. Let New River Heating and Air replace your old furnace or heat pump and save you money. Call Barney at New River Heating and Air Conditioning. Get up to $1,600 in rebates plus financing. Yeah. Well, it's BOGO time again. Logo time? I like our logo. That's not what I... I don't ever want to change our logo. It's like this every day. It's BOGO time. Buy one pair, get another half price. Woo! Glad we're not changing that. This is what BOGO looks like. This is what LOCO looks like. Hey, that's me. Don't I know it. Johnson Current Optometry Centers with five locations in Central and Southwest Virginia. <laughs> You made it. Aw, you did make it. You made this? You made it happen. Happy Thanksgiving from Kroger. Boneless Bottom Roast is now just $2.99 a pound. And six-ounce packages of raspberries or blackberries are two for $3. At Jeff Johnson Chevrolet, we're always trying to make things better and easier for you, our customers. That's why I'm excited to announce the opening of our brand new Jeff Johnson Chevrolet Truck Center, our massive truck inventory, all in one place, right next door. Purchasing a truck will be easier than ever, whether for work or play, a change for the better. And as always, the lowest price without the fees and add-ons. The all-new Jeff Johnson Chevrolet Truck Center. I'm Jeff Johnson and I promise you're gonna like it here. Choose cabinetry with TLC, the right place for your kitchen or bath remodel. We meet with clients every day to educate and design kitchens or bathrooms for your lifestyle, your budget, your home. From concept to completion, we take pride in quality products and installation tailored to your needs to give you what you want the first time. Call today for your complimentary consultation and take advantage of our monthly savings on cabinetry. Visit cabinetrywithtlc.com today. New York Pizza of Vinton, home of the original New York pizza. Try our Italian stuffed pizza for $13.95, our Philly cheesesteak special for $7.95, and get breadsticks with cheese for only $3.95, only at New York Pizza of Vinton. Enter now for your chance to win a 4K TV from WSLS 10. Good morning. Starting out with a couple of rain showers. We are mainly cloudy this morning, but most of the rain is over for most locations. Notice our eastern counties, though, uh, still hanging on to a little bit of rainfall activity, especially just to the east of Lynchburg. But again, most of that is winding down now. Just a couple of sprinkles along and north of 64. Uh, take a look at our planner now. Starting out in the upper 40s to low 50s this morning, but skies are gradually clearing out through the afternoon. We will turn Turn pretty breezy though, and with that northwest wind in place, about 10 to 15 miles per hour, it is going to be difficult for those temperatures to climb. So by noon, only the middle 50s, only the upper 50s by 3 this afternoon. Then tonight, low 50s at about 6 in the evening. So a pretty cool night ahead. And then tomorrow, the wind will weaken for us. Not as windy tomorrow, a lot of sunshine, lower 60s. By our Veterans Day, we turn breezy again with temperatures in the middle 60s. We do have another cold front coming through for our Veterans Day, which is why we turn breezy again, but temperatures not too bad in those middle 60s. Behind that front that moves through on Veterans Day, we are a little chillier with temperatures only reaching the lower 50s for our Saturday, but we still enjoy a lot of bright sunshine for the weekend. A lot more of your forecast coming up in just a little bit. Patrick and Jenna. Thanks, Christina. 626 now and after months of campaigning, the voters finally had their say. Donald Trump, the 45th president of these United States. What the Republican said overnight in his victory speech and how Secretary Clinton plans to pick up the pieces, plus all of the reaction and fallout coming up. Kick off your holiday shopping at the Stocked Market this weekend at the Berglund Center.
Frankie Rollins, the Roanoke Valley's premier steakhouse. Now featuring a 7-ounce filet with lobster tail and whole fresh Maine lobster. Frankie Rollins, service that is second to none. You've been invited to Frankie Rollins Steakhouse. At Taste of Asia, come in now for our lunch specials, like the General Tso's Chicken Super Salad for just $7.95. Or try the Maki Special. Pick two sushi rolls and super salad, all for just $9.95. Now open all day. Taste of Asia, Franklin Road, Roanoke. We looked everywhere for the secret to Salem VA Credit Union and how they make the interest disappear on loans up to 2% when they are paid on time and are able to offer MasterCard balance transfers at 8% for the entire life of the balance. But it was all coming to a dead end. Come with me quick. I finally found it. Really, how hard can it be? I want fresh stuff, and I don't want to pay a bunch for it. Shouldn't have to put all your heads of lettuce together to figure it out. Just give me fresh beans for less green. New York Strip without that New York price. And when you do, I'll come back. I'm a fair woman. In fact, you'll probably never get rid of me. Raising our standards without raising our prices. Food Lion, how refreshing. My name is Karen Moffitt and I had to have both my knees replaced. This facility is amazing. They tailor everything to you, what you need to recover to become whole again. It's just a wonderful place to come and recover. It's full of amazing people. The nurses, the aides, everybody just goes above and beyond. They're friends, you know, you, you've made friends for life. It was wonderful. I can't say enough nice things about Richfield. It's on. Black Friday starts now at the all-new Berglund Ford in Salem and Berglund Ford in Bedford. Buy new F-150, $20,999. That's Black Friday pricing now at both Berglund Ford locations. $20,999 F-150 during the 10-10-10 event at the all-new Berglund Ford Salem, Main Street in Salem, and Berglund Ford Bedford. 460 next to Walmart. Our volume saves you money. BerglundCars.com. The Moss Art Center in Blacksburg presents the Chamber Music Society of Lincoln Center on Friday, November 11th, featuring music by Mozart, Schoenberg, and Brahms. Details at artcenter.vt.edu. 419 West is now featuring early dinner specials from 3 to 6 every day. A 7-ounce New York strip, St. Louis ribs, or black and blue strip salad, only $12.99. Fresh-made chicken lime tacos or green briar chicken, only $8.99. Make it 419 West. Good morning. This is WSLS 10, Virginia Today. Every single American will have the opportunity to realize his or her fullest potential. The forgotten men and women of our country will be forgotten no longer. Donald Trump, president-elect, serving as our 45th president after winning some big battleground states across America last night. Across the Commonwealth, long voting lines and reaction this morning to Trump's win. Decision 2016 live team coverage continues as we break down the votes across Virginia and the country. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Jenna Zigton. And I'm Patrick McKee. We are going to have much more from this election coming up for you in just a few minutes. This is a live look at Roanoke from our Roanoke Blacksburg Regional Airport Skycam. You see some uh, breaks in the clouds, Christina, as we're starting off our Wednesday morning. Yes, we will see more and more breaks in the cloud cover during the late morning, early afternoon as high pressure is building in for us. But we are starting out with a few lingering rain showers. Most areas are dry at this point, but we still have a few sprinkles in the highlands and a few light rain showers just hanging on to Appomattox County, Charlotte counties. Give that about another hour before those are out of here. We are looking at temperatures starting out in the upper 40s and lower 50s. We will climb into the middle 50s by about noon today into the upper 50s this afternoon right around 3. As skies clear, we are turning pretty breezy and notice those temperatures not climbing very far because of that northwest breeze in place. We will enjoy more sunshine though this afternoon and continue that sun into the end of the week as well. I'll have your local hour by hour forecast, your seven day outlook, and then we share the picture of the day all coming up at 640. Jenna. 
It's been a heated but historic election. NBC declaring Donald Trump the projected winner of the presidential race, an upset that stunned his critics and thrilled his supporters. NBC's Tracy Potts has the latest from New York City this morning. Good morning, everyone. If you went to bed, didn't know the results, we do have an answer for you this morning after a very long night. This was really a nail biter. It came down to just a few key states and in the end it was Donald Trump Hillary Clinton we haven't heard from her yet a campaign official says she'll speak today about this Trump victory Let me say it is my high honor and distinct privilege to introduce to you the president elect of the United States of America Donald Trump with key states still too close to call, Donald Trump declared victory. I pledge to every citizen of our land that I will be president for all Americans, and this is so important to me. Sources tell NBC Hillary Clinton called Trump to concede. Publicly, her campaign held out hope. We can wait a little longer, can't we? <laughs> We're still counting votes, and every vote should count. At both headquarters, faces told the story. <laughs> Cheers for Trump. We're just excited about having a chance after eight years of failed policies. Tears for Clinton. They split battleground states, Ohio, North Carolina, and Florida for Trump, Nevada, Virginia, Colorado for Clinton. This morning's opening bell, uncertain. Dow futures sinking lower than 9-11 overnight. NASDAQ and S&P futures temporarily halted. Wall Street's nervous. Now it becomes a guessing game as to how badly hit this market will be in the morning. Anti-Trump demonstrators rallied at the White House, stunned. We're certainly disappointed about the results. I mean, we're still hopeful for something better to come. Exit polls tell an interesting story. The rural vote, white voters without college degrees largely underestimated as the vote count continues. And it does continue in some states this morning, but it was those rural voters who were undercounted in states like Pennsylvania and Wisconsin that flipped for Trump that really uh, produced this upset victory for him. And we've also got foreign reaction pouring in this morning from uh, leaders in Europe, uncertain what this means for them, from Vladimir Putin in Russia saying he hopes uh, that they will be able to cooperate. And that is the latest this morning from Democracy Plaza in New York. I'm Tracy Potts. Back to you. It was an exciting night for Republicans across Southwest Virginia, although the lookout was grim as the night started. That quickly changed as he gained momentum when results came in. Republicans say the race was important because of the financial state of our country. They believe Trump can change that. I was starting a business by myself as a young uh, woman, and uh, I just don't think I could do it today in today's environment with EPA regulations and jobs going overseas. And it's, uh, I want my grandchildren to have the same opportunities and great-grandchildren that I had. The Republican Party of Virginia chairman congratulating Donald Trump overnight, saying in part, quote, now it is time for us to come together as a people and begin the hard work of making America great again. Congratulations, Mr. President-elect. Democrats gathered in northern Virginia to watch the election results come in. Hundreds of people gathered at the state theater to show their support for Hillary Clinton. People cheered as the announcement came in that Clinton won in the Commonwealth. They breathed a sigh of relief once they saw the numbers from Northern Virginia and the Tidewater region. After a long and divisive election, though, people at the rally say that both parties will need to come together to move this country forward. Frankly, a lot of the frustration from working class Americans who've seen jobs disappear, both parties need to do a better job of making sure that we've got an economy that includes everyone. Creating jobs and improving the economy, some of the key issues for voters. Across the Commonwealth, we saw huge voter turnout with more than 3.8 million Virginians hitting the polls. Across our region, we saw long lines and even longer wait times. WSLS sends Aaron Brookshire joining us live with a breakdown. 
of the election numbers. Erin, good morning. Good morning. Of the more than 3.8 million votes cast here in the Commonwealth, we saw a split with the majority of Southwest Virginia voting for Donald Trump and the northern counties and coastal areas voting for Hillary Clinton. Now, overall, Hillary Clinton won the Commonwealth with 50% of the votes thanks to larger counties like Fairfax and Norfolk. Most people in Southwest Virginia, Donald Trump earned 45% of the vote. Libertarian candidate Gary Johnson pulled in 3% of the vote. Independent candidate Evan McMullen gained 2%. And Green Party candidate Jill Stein pulled in about 27,000 votes or less than 1%. Now, we also saw about 29,000 write-in votes in this election. All of those votes led to some extremely long wait times at voting locations here in the Commonwealth, like Bonsack Baptist Church, where, they, uh, where the wait time was 90 minutes or more for a majority of the day. Now, for many voters, they say this is the first time they've ever seen anything like these long lines to vote. I've voted in every presidential election ever since I was 18, and but this is far more, more line and weight in this one than any previous one I've ever voted in. It's a very important election, so much controversy, and we want to make sure that the right person wins. Now we're talking about our new president, Donald Trump, on Facebook. Rhonda Jackson says, no matter who won or lost, we need to be proud Americans and stand together and help each other. Bobby Luckadoo says, feel like now there is hope for the future. Meanwhile, Lynn Caldwell says she's saddened. She says, I thought, there were be I thought we were better than this. And Kelly Red shares the feeling many of us probably feeling this morning. She says she's sleepy. Can't believe she stayed up that late. I feel the exact same. But she says otherwise, she's feeling pretty good this morning. Now you can join the conversation on Facebook and Twitter as well. Just search for WSLS 10. I'm Erin Brookshire for WSLS 10. Thanks, Aaron. Here in Virginia, Congressman Tom Garrett looking forward to getting to work, representing the 5th Congressional District after defeating Democrat Jane Dittmar. It was one of the biggest congressional races in the Commonwealth. WSLS 10's Coulter Anstead was at Garrett's headquarters all night and has reaction. Congressman Garrett arrived here to Random Road Brewery to thunderous cheers. Now he's looking to work across party lines as he represents Virginia's 5th District. Ladies and gentlemen, the next congressman from the 5th District of Virginia, Tom God bless all of you. Uh, hold me to account. State Senator Tom Garrett says he is excited and humbled to have the opportunity to lead Virginia's 5th U.S. Congressional District, and he knows exactly how he'll do that. Go find people who you share um, um, opinions with on issues, and regardless of what side of the aisle they're on. Voters at Garrett's election night headquarters say this is like a dream come true. Tom Garrett is a solid guy. He understands the area, he understands the economic development in the area. He's going to bring jobs back to the area. Among Garrett's top priorities are repealing Obamacare, reducing government regulations for businesses, and helping implement strong immigration reform. In Charlottesville, Colter Rance down to WSLS 10. The 5th District uh, Democratic candidate Jane Dittmar gave a heartfelt concession speech after falling short by about 18 points. WSLS 10's Rob Manch in Charlottesville. Dittmar's staff tells me that she's now going to take time to focus on her mediation business and spend time with her family that she hasn't been able to see while campaigning. She says political ambitions aren't off the table right now, but it's not going to be a focus in the near future. Dittmar says she spoke with Tom Garrett shortly after learning that he would be the winner. She says she asked him to put aside partisanship moving forward. Because her voice was hoarse from campaigning, Dittmar had her husband, Frank, deliver her concession speech. In the end, it is about running the race. And I think Jane has run a race that is a model not only for our country, but for the world. <laughs> Dittmar ended her concession speech thanking supporters, saying that she received over the course of her campaign more than 24,000 individual donations. In Charlottesville, Rob Manch, WSLS 10. A little break from our political coverage now as Watch and Win continues here on WSLS 10. And we've got some fantastic news. Two winners this morning, both of them called us, and both of them winning one of those 
4K ultra high definition televisions. It's 55 inch. It's a big one. Yes. So congratulations to our winners this morning. If you haven't entered, you can still enter. Go to our WSLS Facebook page or WSLS.com. You just have to register once. We've gotten that question. Do you register yes. every day? No, you just have to register one once. Then you can tune in every morning at 610. If we announce your name, you'll have 10 minutes to call and win. And we'll be back down to giving away one tomorrow. Over to Christine now at 641 with an update on your forecast. Good morning. We still have a few lingering sprinkles around. Nothing major. Already starting to see those skies clear in most locations. Live look from our Martinsville New College Institute sky cam. Beautiful start to the day after a few rain showers moved through overnight and early this morning. Notice most of us are dry. All of that quickly moving out to the east. Just a few sprinkles in the highlands and a few still hanging on to our far eastern counties. Give that about another hour before all of us are completely dry. We'll still have a couple of lingering sprinkles in the highlands this afternoon. Afternoon, but I'm thinking most of that is going to be over with here. As the clouds clear out, the wind is going to be increasing for us. We are looking at 10 to 15 mile per hour winds gusting up to about 30 miles per hour out of the north and west today. And with that northwest flow, it is going to be difficult for temperatures to climb very much at all with that cooler air filtering in. Right now, if you step out the door, we are in the middle to upper 40s in the highlands, parts of the NRV in the 40s, low 50s. In most locations, a little warmer at 55 in Rono. Fast forward to 3 this afternoon when we will be at our warmest. And temperatures are not very different from where they are right now. We are looking at the upper 40s and low 50s in the Highlands and New River Valley, mid to upper 50s everywhere else with the exception of Danville and points to the east, maybe climbing into those lower 60s, a little bit warmer in the south side area. Temperature tomorrow in the low 60s with weaker wind. For our Veterans Day, it will be breezy again as another front moves through, bringing temperatures into the 50s on Saturday, but back into the 60s Sunday. That front will be a dry front, so just a little bit more cloud cover, but no rain showers to worry about for Veterans Day. Our picture of the day comes from Jess Prince Chadden, and uh, love this photo, trying to keep a patriotic theme with Veterans Day coming up on Friday. Can't tell if they are saluting here or just getting the sun out of their eyes, but either way, love the picture. Yes. So, Very nice. Sending those in. Email us your pictures, news at WSLS.com, and you may see them right here on Virginia Today. And coming up at 6.50, I will have your Veterans Day planner. 6.44 now, Donald Trump claims victory in an election that shocked many across the nation. We're breaking down what this means for the future of Washington and the effect it's having on stock markets around the world. The Carpet Factory Outlet Advantage is clear. We do floor covering for less. A violent marriage. I broke her nose. I said mean and hateful things just to calm this down. So just to calm it down, you said you'll murder the whole family. New Dr. Phil. Today at 4 on WSLS 10. New York Pizza Vinton, home of the original New York Pizza. For 34 years, we've been serving up our famous pizza and subs, shrimp, chicken, eggplant, and our incredible Philly cheesesteaks. Only at New York Pizza of Vinton. Hey, Ronald, Chuck Baker here. It's our 13th annual Yes Member celebration. Yes, we have the inventory to make this our biggest Yes Member ever. Yes, the incentives have never been better, with rebates up to $3,000 and 0% APR on select 2016 and 17 dollars. Yes, everything is on sale, and yes, we're giving top dollar for your trade. And finally, it's yes to the kids, as Haley Toyota is an official drop-off for Toys for Tots. Yes, Bimmer means saving thousands on your next new or used Toyota. And yes, Haley has it for less. Hello, I'm Anthony Smith of Blue Ridge Towers. We pride ourselves in working with the community to develop and build cell towers in poor coverage areas and in places there's never been coverage before. We specialize in offering stealth towers, such as flagpoles, ball fill lights, slick sticks, and many other stealth solutions. Blue Ridge Towers, speed to market, attention to detail. Visit us online at BlueRidgeTowers.com. Yay, Leonard, employee of the year. That a boy. Congratulations, Leonard. Woohoo! We love you, Leonard. And we all know he's earned it.
choose cabinetry with TLC, the right place for your kitchen or bath remodel. We meet with clients every day to educate and design kitchens or bathrooms for your lifestyle, your budget, your home. From concept to completion, we take pride in quality products and installation tailored to your needs to give you what you want the first time. Call today for your complimentary consultation and take advantage of our monthly savings on cabinetry. Visit cabinetrywithtlc.com today. The month-long Black Friday sale is happening now at Motor Miles Subaru on the Sheeler Motor Mile. Buy a new 2016 Subaru Impreza 2.0i for the special sale price of $18,268. And for a limited time, every new vehicle from Sheeler comes with a 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty, plus a loaner car during warranty work, lifetime Virginia State inspections, and a 48-hour exchange. Need credit? At Sheeler, we own the finance company. And say yes when other dealers simply can't. The month-long Black Friday sale on the Sheeler Motor Mile at Motor Miles Subaru. Why start anywhere else? New York Pizza of Vinton, home of the original New York Pizza. Try our Italian stuffed pizza for $13.95, our Philly cheesesteak special for $7.95, and get breadsticks with cheese for only $3.95, only at New York Pizza of Vinton. Kick off your holiday shopping at the Stocked Market this weekend at the Berglund Center. It's 647 and joining us now, WSLS 10's political analyst, Dr. Ed Lynch. Now, Donald Trump doing his victory speech just mm -hmm. before 3 this morning. So I, a lot I was, of people... I was watching. <laughs> <laughs> we were too. Uh, yes. um, this was a different Donald Trump, though. This wasn't the Donald Trump no. we've seen on the campaign trail. No, he looked very uh, sober, uh, sobered and, and almost stunned. Uh, I guess the realization of, of exactly what he had accomplished and now what's next for him uh, had, was starting to sink in. They, they say it happens very slowly when you're elected president of the United States. And his speech was, uh, was not the combative, arm-waving speeches that we've seen from him, but, uh, but rather, rather gracious. I thought it was uh, significant that he specifically reached out to the head of the Republican National Committee, brought him to the podium, asked him to say a few words. Uh, that was definitely a signal that uh, he wants to work with the Republican Party, large portions of which of which of whose leadership spurned him during the campaign right so maybe some fence mending yes. as we were talking about in mm -hmm. our last half hour with uh, now he has to work with Republicans now that they control the House and the Senate that's right if he wants to get his agenda passed uh, he is uh, he does have to work with with Congress and they have to work with him too uh, they he, they have to acknowledge that he's president of the United States that they were completely wrong in trying to deny him the nomination uh, saying that he couldn't win uh, uh, so there's you know there's backtracking that needs to go on go on on both sides which makes it a little bit easier Let's turn to Hillary Clinton now. She's been a senator, secretary mm -hmm. of state, but she's also now a two-time failed presidential candidate. That's right. Does she have a political future, or is it time to pack up and head home? I think that uh, it is time to pack up and, and head home and find some other way to contribute. Uh, as Donald Trump said last night, you know, she's had a very sick, a long and, and illustrious career. Uh, she's done things that most people only dream about doing. And, and she came close, but she has failed twice to gain the White House. Uh, uh, and I think the last person to get a third try was William Jennings Bryan over a hundred years ago. So there will not be another Clinton presidential campaign. And Even we still Mitt haven't after twice. Yeah, we mm -hmm. still haven't heard from her either. Um, so we are expecting a statement in mm -hmm. the day ahead, but it's wait and see now yeah. as to what Clinton will do. I, I'll be inter very interested in what exactly what she says in this concession <laughs> speech. All right, Dr. Ed Lynch, thanks so much for talking to us this morning. My pleasure. Thanks for having and me. And for being up very early this yes. morning after a late night. Uh, <laughs> it's exciting. It doesn't happen that frequently. I can manage. Making Nick. history. Yeah. We'll see so you one year from now yeah. for Virginia's election. <laughs> <laughs> Which starts today. Yes. <laughs> the market's expected to react in a big way to last night's election news. Dow Jones futures plummeted by over 750 points late Tuesday night. A U.S. presidential election results showed Trump taking an early lead. The plunge could even eclipse the Brexit shocker that rocked financial markets in June. Dow futures halted just after midnight. Trading will begin again when the markets open this morning at 930. And concerns surrounding the Trump victory also causing stops to drop around the world. In Tokyo, the Nikkei down 919 points at the close, dropping five and a quarter percent. Election news also sent currency traders fleeing from the dollar to the yen. The Mexican peso plunged to its lowest ever levels last night, weakening by more than 13 percent.
We still have a few lingering rain showers, but most of the action is over for us. Just a couple of sprinkles hanging on to our far southeastern counties and also in the highlands. The sprinkles in the highlands hanging on a little longer today, but most of us will see the end of this in just about a half hour. Upper 40s to low 50s in most spots this morning. Mid 50s are a warmest spot in the Roanoke Valley. Still a lot of cloud cover around, but those clouds are gradually clearing out this afternoon. As they clear, we are turning windy. Winds up to 15 miles per hour, gusting up to 30 miles per hour with that strong northwest flow in place. Temperatures do not climb very much today. Upper 40s to low 50s for the Highlands and New River Valley, about the middle to upper 50s in Roanoke, Lynchburg, and through Southside. Looking ahead to tomorrow, weaker wind by our Veterans Day, turning breezy again with highs in the middle 60s. Coolest day Saturday, uh, sunny though with highs in the lower 50s. For your Veterans Day, we're waking up in the 40s with so chilly start. We climb to the low 60s at noon into the middle 60s by 3 in the afternoon and Remember, we do stay pretty breezy. Your seven day outlook is right after the break. Patrick and Jenna. 652 and a look back at all the big races from Election Day. Our decision 2016 coverage continues in three minutes. Stay with us. The County of Bath, where travelers are rejuvenated and lasting memories are made. Thank you for choosing WSLS 10 this election night. We brought you the results first. WSLS 10 will be breaking in to keep you up to speed. On air, online, and on your phone. Thank you for depending upon WSLS 10 for complete election coverage. We can help with all your tree needs. Paul Bunyan Tree Service is the premier tree company in the Roanoke Valley. Fully licensed and insured, we get the job done right. Our certified arborists can prune, cut, or remove your trees safely without damaging your property. We also have tree health care specialists who can get your trees looking their best. Let the Roanoke Valley's tree experts take care of your tree needs. Call Paul Bunyan's Tree Service. Leave a legacy. Give us a call. We go out on a limb to please. Another storm. A little more rain. Not a big deal for most people. But for you, well, it's another sleepless night. Wondering, will the basement flood again? Call JES. If you've ever had water in your basement, you know how it feels to lie awake dreading what you'll find downstairs. Ruined carpet, water damage, mold. Don't spend another night worrying about a wet basement. We'll stop the water so you can rest easy. Call JES today. Bergland is luxury, and luxury is Mercedes-Benz. Two locations in Lynchburg and Roanoke. A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for buyers during the 10-10-10 event. Drive new 2016 Mercedes-Benz CLA 250, 319 a month. Bergland is luxury, and luxury is Mercedes-Benz. Two convenient locations, 2643 Lakeside Drive in Lynchburg and 5000 Franklin Road in Roanoke. We take the extra time to make sure the computers are done the way they want them done. I think that we put honesty and integrity and value uh, above all other things. Our customers are loyal and they keep coming back year after year because they trust us. So what we try to do is simplify it, give them what they need, and nothing more. I like to tell our customers, you know, just take a deep breath. It's going to be okay. We'll fix it for you, promise you. Did you know that your smile is the first thing people notice about you? A confident smile makes a world of difference. Dr. Henny specializes in helping you get the natural smile you've always wanted. Why wait? We can help you rediscover the joy of smiling easily, comfortably, and within your budget. It's time to bring out your inner beauty and confidence. Call 540-774-1577 today. Lennox makes the most energy efficient system you can find, which means the appliance you use the most will also save you the most. Davis Heating and Air can make your home an energy vault, saving you money on your utility bills with the quietest, most efficient furnace and air conditioner made. Trust your family's comfort to Davis Heating and Air. Get up to $1,600 in rebates plus financing.
656, Donald Trump claiming his place as America's 45th president. The Republican blasting through the Democrats' longstanding firewall, carrying states that hadn't voted for a GOP presidential candidate since the 1980s. Clinton called Trump after it became clear he had won. She's expected to make a statement later today. Republicans retain control of the House and Senate with several key congressional races in our area. The biggest, the 5th District, where Republican Tom Garrett wins over Democrat Jane Dittmar. In the 6th District, Bob Goodlatte easily wins re-election over Kai Degner. And in the 9th, Morgan Griffith re-elected with 68% of the vote. More than 3.8 million Virginians voted in the election, leading to long lines and even longer wait times, with some voters waiting 90 minutes or longer. Voter turnout stands at just under 69% in the Commonwealth. Temperatures making it into the 50s today with gradual clearing, and we do turn pretty breezy. Weaker wind tomorrow with highs in the low 60s. Veterans Day turning breezy again with temperatures in the middle 60s. And coming up next on today, more coverage on Donald Trump's stunning upset last night, beating out Hillary Clinton to become our nation's 45th president. How world leaders are reacting and the mood of voters after such a heated race. And remember, we have all of your election coverage online at WSLS.com if you want to check out local school board races, mayoral races, and other races. And stay with today. We may also hear from Hillary Clinton this morning as we leave you with a live look of our nation's capital.